Happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm excited. I have a poly gel kit review for you guys. I've actually hauled a few poly gel kits, but I haven't had a chance to try them out yet. And with my next nail design, I thought this kit would be perfect because it had the colors in it that I wanted to use. So Jello was actually nice enough to send me over one of their poly gel kits. Um, and it's just like the nail extension kit. The packaging on this is really cute. Let me go ahead and I'll unbox this with you all here on camera. So this is everything that comes with the kit. All right, so it comes with the nail buffer and nail file along with the, along with the gel and brush, which has the spatula on one end and the, um, what is it? The brush on the other end, the gel brush on the other end. Um, I think most poly gel kits come with this. It comes with six different colors, you guys. I thought these colors were so cute. So we have an orange, a blue, a green, a pink, a purple, and a yellow. And these colors all glow in the dark, which I'm like, yes, I'm here for the glow in the dark situation. We have a base coat, we have a top coat, we have some alcohol cleansing pads, and then we also have the poly gel tips. Um, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, all of these poly gel tips are curved. Um, I was gonna try to do, um, not tips, I'm sorry, not poly gel tips, it's dual forms, that's what they're called. <laughs> I was gonna try to do, um, let me open this. I was gonna try to do this with dual forms, but honestly, I've been seeing the lazy girl method go around like crazy, and honestly, that's what I wanna try to do. But this is what the forms look like. You see they're kinda curved here. And it has like this little piece where you're supposed to wiggle it off once you get it on the nail. Let me show it on this nail here. So yeah, you're supposed to put it on like this and you know, have the poly gel in there, cure it and then pop this off. But yeah, I don't want to struggle bust with that right now. I just want to go ahead and have this be a quick, nice manicure, okay? So that's what we're going to do. The color in particular I want to work with is this light blue color. So. And I'm going to go ahead and take out their base, Oops, their top coat, and their base. And these are both uh, 10 ml bottles. So yeah, that's what that's looking like here. Okay. And then we also have um, the alcohol pad. So that's what I'm going to use out of this kit right now. I have had a vision for some beautiful ice queen nails or um, ice princess nails. I think queen better. Yeah, so some ice queen nails. And I thought this light blue would be the absolute perfect color for that. And so I do have a poly gel from another kit that's a clear since this kit didn't come with one. And that's what I'll be using. So recap, I'll be using the, the top coat base coat. I'll be using these two poly gels. This came in the kit and this came from a different kit. And then I'll also be using um, the alcohol free wipe. And I'm gonna try the lazy girl method y'all. So I actually have my young nails full cover tips here. They're the coffin shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and use these for the lazy girl method. And also, um, just in case y'all are wondering, I do have a review on this beautiful set that I have on here. So I will leave that linked in the description box and in the cards in case y'all wanna check out how I got this cute Christmas design, okay? Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and push back my cuticles and I'm gonna dehydrate my nails and I'm gonna use a peel off base coat. So, like I said, it's my first time doing the lazy girl method, so yeah, I've watched a few tutorials, okay? So I have my little base here ready to go with my little coffin nail tips, okay? And I'm gonna start with my index finger and work my way down. And what I wanna do first is just apply base coat to all of the nails, because I think that's what I've seen everybody do. So let me go ahead and start with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure this in my big lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so these have been cured for 60 seconds. Next, I'm gonna go in with this blue poly gel color, this light blue. And I wanna just kinda of focus it on the cuticle area and kinda of ombre it up to the tip. I don't wanna to put too much on here. This is long nail struggles right here. <laughs> but I don't wanna to put too much of it on there. But I just wanna put I want to put just enough though. Also have a glass here where I will put some alcohol in it so that I have some slip solution. There's my slip solution here. I think technically I could use the base coat as a slip solution, but I want to try 
use an alcohol for that. So this is what this color looks like. It is perfect. I can't even get it out. It's perfect for the nails that I want to do. So like I said, I want to start with this uh, index finger here. And I'm just going to apply just a little bit of this poly gel to the base of the nail. Okay. And just go ahead and try to ombre this poly gel down to, down to the tip. And like I said, I want to leave a little bit of space so that I can create my little icicles. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Okay, y'all. This Lady to Girl method, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be pretty easy for me, so I'm super excited about that. Um, so yeah, that's looking pretty good. I don't know how to shear it out to where it looks ombre-ish, but I'm going to just keep working on it here to see if I can kind of sort of make that happen. So from here, I think I'm supposed to put it on my nail, but just so that I don't mess up the ombre, um, I think I want to just go ahead and flash cure this for like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. And that's just kind of like curing it in place a little bit. And next I'm gonna go in with this white, um, I'm sorry, with this clear poly gel from a different kit and just apply a little bit of the clear to the tip of the nail, like so, okay. And then I'm gonna work that down as well. Just kind of flatten that out a little bit. Like so, hope y'all can see what I'm doing here. I think I actually put too much down here. So I'm gonna take this glob off, okay? And then that's what I'm gonna use to actually adhere my nail here at the bottom, if that makes sense. So I know I'm supposed to put like another layer of poly gel at the bottom to adhere my nail, oops. So I'm gonna just maybe try to use this to adhere my nail with the poly gel and then like so I guess I should have did clear maybe all throughout let's see if I can get the clear to kind of come all the way down let's maybe try that poly gel does seem really easy to work with too like I'm not having any issues right now so that seems really nice okay so I think that's smooth enough and then in order to get the um what is it, the icicle effect. I'm going to take some Saran Wrap, you guys. And I'm gonna just take like a little piece here. Okay, just like so. And then I'm gonna stick it to like the tip of the nail only because I don't want the whole inside of it to look like an icicle, okay? Like so. And then I'm gonna take my dotting tool and just kind of like Push it into the poly gel, like so. Hang on, that seems easy enough. Oh, that looks good, okay. So you just push it up to the poly gel. And then, also help me get my base on now. Okay, I guess I'm gonna just have to flash cure this too. And then I'll come back in with a little bit more poly gel to adhere it to my nail. <laughs> Unless, can I do it like this? I don't know if I can do it like this. Can I do two in one? Am I being too ambitious, you guys? I think I'm being too ambitious with that. So I'm gonna just let this cure first and just add a little bit more clear poly gel. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> so let me cure this. Okay, so that's being cured. Let me take off the saran wrap and see what we got here. Okay. part doesn't want to come off at the bottom here. Okay, well, we're gonna have a little saran wrap on the inside and that's okay. And wow, you guys, it does look like an icicle. Can you see this? That's gonna look good. So now what I'm gonna do is, I guess go ahead and take this off. Okay. Oh yeah, this is easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, you guys, this is like easy peasy. Look at this nail. It looks good, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of clear poly gel again. I just want just a little bit here at the cuticle area. And this is what I'm gonna use to adhere my nail, adhere the nail to me. I mean, adhere this, the lazy girl nail to my nail, okay? And excuse me if I sound kind of crazy. I think I'm under the weather right now, y'all. 
But I want to get these videos cranked out for y'all, so that's why I'm still going, okay? Hashtag a YouTuber life, okay? So I do have um, this little gelling lamp that came with their little nail extension kit. So I'm going to use it here. And I'm going to do it just like I do my builder gel. I mean, just like I do any other type of nail like this. So I'm going to just put it on here and press down. And this does not seem like the right nail, y'all. This seems too small. Why that happened? I wonder do we have the size bigger when we're doing poly gel nails like this? Y'all, this looks too entirely too small for my nail. What happened here? Huh. I think it's because I added the poly gel on the inside, so now it doesn't fit. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, that makes me sad. Hmm. That's interesting. So, let's see what we're gonna do here. I don't know how this is supposed to work then. Yeah, that just don't look good. Look at that. It just looked too small for the nail. Well, that's sad. Cause this ice looks good though. It looks so icy. Yeah, that ain't gonna work for me. Okay, so we're gonna take this off and try again. I'm gonna try this method again, okay? I'm not gonna give up. I need to wipe this stuff off my hand. <laughs> So I think what I was supposed to do was adhere the nail to, like adhere the tip to my nail first before I did my design. But I see everybody else fully do their nail. So you see how the tip actually does fit? So I don't know, I don't know. So I'm gonna try this blue first, right? Like so, Oops, a little bit more. I'm gonna thin it out and it and go ahead and adhere it to my nail first because whatever I just did did not work. <laughs> I'm gonna do like this on each side, right? Oh, and I didn't even do the base coat, but that's okay. We're gonna do like this, okay? Try to make it really, I guess make it really thin here at the cuticle because that's the part that like did not look too good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply it to my nail first and then we're gonna try that again so let's see okay that fit a lot better so that's what the issue was so you kind of have to put it on first <laughs> you can't really design your nail how you want it or at least I couldn't anyway okay so now I'm gonna just clean up around the cuticle area here Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flash cure this under the lamp here. So I'm gonna go through and just apply all the tips first with the poly gel and then do my nails because I added too much poly gel and it didn't work with this. So let's do that. Okay, y'all, we're gonna we're gonna continue and make this make this happen. I think it's just a learning curve for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more of this blue and apply it just to the base here. I guess I really, a little goes a long way, so I feel like I don't need much. And then I have my brush here, and I'm gonna try to see if I can just do this with you guys here on camera. So I'm gonna use that to just kind of pat it a little thin, make sure I get the edges here. Now I'm gonna try to apply it again. Turn that on and just put this here at the base, like so. And then some has spilled out. Yeah, y'all, this is, this ain't, this ain't so lazy for me, okay? This is a little bit more difficult than what it appeared to be, but we're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna just squeeze down one more time and then I'm gonna flash cure this one. So this is what we got so far, y'all. I'm gonna move on to the next nail and like I said, I'm just gonna apply the blue to the cuticle and then we just gonna kinda go from there. So this is that, y'all, this lazy girl method ain't so lazy for me, okay? 
I think I'm having a really hard learning curve with this, but I'm gonna try to make it happen. I don't know. I think I'm squeezing out too much gel now when I'm curing. Um, Cause that ring finger does not look cute. So, okay, we're gonna try one more time. We're gonna go ahead and get this pinky nail on. And let's pray this one goes a lot better. <laughs> this is a struggle bus, y'all. Okay, y'all, this is actually harder than I thought it was gonna be, okay? So the struggle bus is absolutely real. Um, I went ahead and applied my thumb off camera. I feel like they came out slightly better, but not too much better. Um, my little one woke up, so then I had to go tend to her in the middle of all of this. So y'all, we're gonna try to make this set work though. So I did adhere all the full cover tips with just the blue poly gel. Now I wanna go in and um, just apply clear underneath all the nails and um, try to do the icicle effect. We're gonna see what happens here, cause um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little sad. Uh, maybe I just didn't do enough research for the lazy girl method, but so far it ain't so lazy y'all. I've been having to put in some work for this set, so. Let's see what ends up happening here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of clear on all the nail tips here and um, smooth it out. Oops, hope that ain't too much. And smooth it out and, and just go from there. Um, I have a feeling I'm gonna end up applying, um, let me just do these hands first, cause. <laughs> Y'all, I, I think I'm getting a little frustrated and I just need to kind of slow down and regroup. But we gonna make this work, I promise y'all. We are gonna make this work. So here's my brush here, my alcohol. I'm just gonna smooth all of these down underneath the nail here. And um, as smooth as I can get it. If it's a little thick under here, I don't even care because I just wanna try to get this icicle effect. Yeah, I'll use too much, Jesus. All right, that's what we gonna do, we just gonna I probably should have just did one nail to see how much I needed. I think I'm just getting a little frustrated with this, but we gonna make this design work, y'all, cause we didn't came this far, right? Y'all pray for me in this poly gel. I know poly gel is not this hard to work with. Like, I've seen so many videos. I know it's not this hard to work with. And plus, I'm a gel girl myself, so it don't look difficult. I think I'm just, I don't know, maybe I just didn't do enough research before I went in with this design that I had, but yeah, so we got it smooth underneath all the nails here, okay, and then I guess I can go ahead and work on the thumb since we, since we already out here. So then from there, the nice thing about what I'm doing with the tips, the icicle tips, is that they ain't got to be perfect. So. I'm gonna take my saran wrap here, and as I'm gonna break off just like maybe five pieces here, I'm gonna take just a piece of saran wrap here, put it underneath the nail, use my dotting tool to kind of just get it all scrunched up, like so, and this is gonna create that icicle effect, okay? Yeah, that is working though. So at least that part was easy enough, and I'm gonna just do this to all the nails. All right, y'all, I know my hands look crazy, but it's been fully cured for 60 seconds, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Yeah, y'all, it did work, though. That's pretty cool. It definitely worked. Yeah, that iciness is looking pretty cool. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and shape the nails. Oh, they're kinda, they're kinda sticky underneath here. Hmm. Actually, I think I saw this on somebody's video. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat the underneath of my nails so that like debris and stuff don't get stuck in it while I'm trying to like file it and everything. So this is what we're working with so far. For right now, I'm just gonna shape my nails. I'm gonna shape my nails, file and buff them so Let's do that before we troubleshoot how we are gonna fix this because it ain't looking so hot right now, y'all.
Okay y'all, so this is what the nails look like after they've been filed, shaped, and buffed. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I think I wanna apply a top coat just to kinda see what I'm working with here. Yeah y'all, this said it gave me a run for my money. I'm not gonna even lie. That icicle did turn out really nice though, I must say. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cure all of this for 60 seconds and I will be right back y'all. We're gonna see, we're gonna see what it's giving. I love the icicle effect. I think the icicle effect turned out pretty well. I think I'm gonna still apply this jelly um, polish to the entire nail on the ring finger just to see. Okay, yeah, that's gonna make it better. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it on all the nails. I like how that looks. So I do have my Extend Gel from Gelin. That's what I'm gonna be using here. Kind of hard to do with long nails, but here we go. So we got that on there. <clears throat> and once I get it nice and centered, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. So this is what the Ice Princess, the Ice Queen is looking like thus far. I figured out while my hands were in the LED lamp how I want the rest of my design to be. So I am gonna go in with these little rhinestones I got off Shein. I'm gonna use these darker blue ones. I thought I was gonna use these, but I wanna use these darker blue ones. And I'm gonna keep it simple, y'all, because I went real extra on this set, which I still love. But on this one, we are gonna just go simple bling, okay? Simple bling. So I already have my rhinestones out ready to go. Y'all see, it's gonna be real simple, okay? So at the um, cuticle in the middle of each nail, I'm just gonna put one kind of bigger blue stone. And I'm gonna use my the Gel and Extend Gel again. And I'm gonna put just a small dot, oops, on each nail. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these rhinestones here and literally just place it right here at the cuticle area. I'm just gonna line everything up and go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. Now that I'm seeing this, I think I wanna add just a little bit more bling, y'all. Oh my gosh. I thought I was done, but I'm not. So yeah, I am gonna add just a little more bling, y'all. I'm gonna top coat, and like I said, I'm gonna adhere those rhinestones as I'm top coating. All right, you guys. So this is what the Ice Queen slash Ice Princess is looking like. This was a little bit of a struggle to get this finished look, but I'm absolutely loving how it turned out. I think adding that glitter polish, that jelly glitter polish over top of the poly gel worked out well. Um, I definitely need to play around with the Lazy Girl method some more to make sure that I get the application right. But I think this set turned out really cute, which y'all think. Yeah, I think she cute though. I think she real cute. And them icicles, yes, it's giving, honey, it's giving. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and apply some cuticle oil because you know my hands, they didn't they, they didn't been through it today. We 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 had a we had a little struggle there. But I think we were able to manage and make a beautiful set out of this, okay? Okay, I'm here for it. So I'm gonna just bring it on down the hand too, because y'all, like I said, it was a rough day. So we just gonna oil her up nice. And while I'm editing, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my cuticles over here because you know, why not? Let's get into it though. Ooh. Yeah, she looking pretty. She looking icy. Okay, Ice Queen, I see you looking icy. Yes, yes. So what do y'all think about my Ice Queen, Ice Princess design? I definitely think that, um, you know, I gotta practice with Polly Joe, y'all, but I think I was able to salvage this set and it turned out great. The other thing I noticed too is with my icicles, right? They were looking a little bit icier earlier, but I think because I applied that second layer of the um, top coat underneath it, it kind of smoothed out the surface a little bit more than what I would have wanted to, but I still think it looks good overall. Like, yeah, I'm liking this look. I'm liking this set. Like, she cute, she giving. 
she giving just a little bit of a royalty okay <laughs> And I'm gonna show y'all one more thing this they can do. Y'all know this is one of my favorite things for sets to do, okay? Yeah, she glowing, y'all. I said she glowing, y'all. Yes. She said she wanna be here, be fierce, be seen, okay? Here's the queen. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. But yeah, y'all, I had fun making this look. Definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this set. This is the Ice Queen, Ice Princess set right here. Okay, um, and it was using the jelly, uh, the gelin poly gel kit. Actually, the, the poly gel was really easy to work with, so it was my first time, and yeah, I, I liked it. So, I'll definitely be trying to incorporate that into more of my looks. I'm gonna master this lazy girl method, so that's that's what we that's that's my next goal. We're gonna master this acrylic and we're gonna master this lazy girl method because yeah, I'm loving all the cool ways that you can just play around and do your nails. So, yeah, these are my two big Christmas sets that I did here. Here. So again, I'm gonna leave all the details for this lovely set in the description box below But yeah, I love this set as well. Yeah, this one's probably my favorite which actually let me know which set do you all like more? Do you like this extra? Super Christmas I'm um, here hear me roar or do you all like this kind of ice queen a little, little more subtle but a little bling? Um, set so let me know which one is your favorite down in the comments. I would love to know I'm thinking this one's my favorite y'all, but let me know which one you all like in the comments down below um, I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day. Bye